Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FPV XP. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and a build of this iFlight frame. Uh, I thought it's worth it because I like the quality of iFlight stuff, it's always good. And the price is just unbelievable. This frame, the low rider stretch, is a 5.5 got 5 mil arms, it's tough, it's good quality, it's made by iFlight, comes in at 35 pounds. So I've been through a lot of frames and I like a quality frame, but if I can get a decent frame for 35 pounds, I will. This is slammed, it's a stretch, it's great, it comes in really nice packaging, I haven't even unwrapped it yet, you can see it's just well wrapped and i'm always a fan of getting stuff like this like i've paid over the odds for frames and you can see in my other videos when i review them that i'm really really not impressed when it comes badly packaged i uh tore the marmot to shreds a little bit and um, when i got it because the packaging was just grotesque i was like paying so much money for a good frame. Sorry about that, the telephone's always really loud. And when I pay premium, I, I expect at the very least for, you know, a box. Just a box would be grand. So as you can see, or can't see. Wow. Okay, the light kills it. What it actually says is that this is the iFlight XL 5.5 low rider stretch x version 3 and it's slammed so if you guys are thinking about doing this and you gotta know it's really really tight in there if you want to get a stat you gotta make sure it fits right i believe that the standoffs that come in this box opening it now the standoffs that come in the box are a little bit smaller boom See? Decent box. How hard is that? Lesson to the other chaps. None of my Impulse RC frames and none of my Marmot frames or my Hyperlow frames came in anything nearly, nearly as nice. So what's in the box? Instructions. Also good, you don't really get instructions with all frames. So that looks fairly clear. Oh, very big emphasis five millimeter arms now i know that these are 5.5 inch arms but i know a lot of people are using these for long distance and i know that there are other size arms and i'm not sure exactly what they are but they're on white i five websites i think you can get all the way up to seven inch look at that steel buckle everybody loves the steel buckle rubbery you see what i mean 35 pounds 35 quid you get two straps and not just cheap straps these are straps with a steel buckle you know not the plastic straps so it's going to end up flying away breaking your battery some stickers you know mandatory you've got to have some stickers you've got your mounts for your camera because i believe the frame takes a full size so they give you these so that you can put a smaller camera in very welcome you see 3d printed parts you get your usual antenna mount and you have them very very nice 3d printed in its own packaging what else do we get a shed load of screws which is absolutely the usual i see some grommets in there for the aerial the standoffs everything as you'd expect to see very very well packaged ah look at that some foam standoffs i have a bag of these with like 300 in because the really expensive frames don't come with them either so yeah let that be a lesson to you big guys out there with the big brands who thinks that nobody cares i care usually it just comes like this and they're like here you go here's your 100 pound frame enjoy yourself no straps no nothing so very impressed with this let's have a look at it five more arms look at that very very nice chamfering no rough edges i really really like that seems good quality yeah that's 
pretty hardcore. That's lovely. Decent quality stuff. Very impressive. You see what I mean? I flight, 35 pounds. 35 pounds stretch X frame. Chamfered edges. I mean, back in the day when I was rock and rolling a Gep RC, I think it was a Mark II. I also bought that for fairly cheap and I was also surprised that the quality was consistent. Yeah, that looks really nice. You can see you've got the countersunk holes here. That looks like a 20 by 20 stack holes. Really, really nice carbon. Sort of a satin finish, which we know is the more expensive carbon. Everything chamfered. Really, really nice quality. Look at that. The countersunk nuts have already been countersunk. Heads up in Bolz RC. I have to do that myself. And a really, really nice sticker on there. That looks great. Really looks lovely. If I could get it to focus, which is very rarely the case. Anyway, aside from that, it does look really pretty. So there you have it, the top plate, the bottom plate, and finally, your centre mount for your arms. Got some more in there. Here we go. Okay, obviously, your camera mounting. Really, 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 really nice stuff. I gotta say, really good quality. Very impressed. 35 pounds. How do they do that? Why do my other frames cost so, so much money when they can do something of this quality for so little? I just, I don't understand. Right, so what I'm going to do is lay this out all nicely so everybody can have a look and then we'll build it really quickly. And we'll have a final look at what it looks like and give it a good old bend to see if it can actually withstand the drama we're going to put it through. And as if by magic, it was all magically laid out in front of you. So this is pretty much how I prepped it to get ready for a build. All the separate nuts, all the separate bolts, all the standoffs, all the parts, one by one, laid out next to each other so you can see what you're actually getting. Um, everything looks really good quality. You can see all your different types of screws here. There are some over here that have a truncation to them stuck to my screwdriver. Um, they are countersunk screws and they can only fit in one place in the countersunk holes as you can see there. Um, I must warn you guys, the instructions for this are not accurate. They show it being built in a completely different sense and I'm not quite sure why that is. But I'm going to go ahead and put this together and instead of wasting your life, I'll just snap two when it's completely built. And we'll continue the conversation from there. Boom. Magic again. There it is. You know what? That was probably the quickest frame build I've ever done. Really, really easy. The only fiddly part was when I actually had to turn it upside down and turn it back around to get all the plates into the right place. Um, aside from that, really, really, really easy. There you can see just how slammed this is. So be very, very careful, folks. If you are buying this, then do your research because not every stack or almost no stack will fit in here without some custom build work going on apart from that i think it's a stunning frame it's actually quite well thought out and you know when i'm when i'm coughing up like 70 to 100 pounds per frame and then i get something like this that's 35 pounds i really start to question why <laughs> am i spending all that money five mil arms um, it's fairly light for 5.5, I think it comes in at about 117 grams. Freaking light, satin finish, uh, good carbon, all the edges are chamfered, everything's good quality. Like, I can't, I, I like to have a moan, like, me, 
a Mamona. But for 35 quid, I mean, even get a freaking box, people. <laughs> and that's stunning. Like, I, I've got to say, good clearance here for the cams up and down. Um, I don't know how many mounts you'll be able to find for your GoPros out there, but with Thingiverse these days, you can have whatever you want for whatever you want, whenever you want it. Um, I put it together in its most basic form. I didn't add everything I needed to add. It, I, you know what? It's a 5.5. You can use bigger props. Um, you get 5-inch version, I believe. And you get 7. So if you wanted to turn one of these into a bit of a long ranger, I think you'd be in a good spot. I don't have a whole lot more I can say about this frame. I think it's a good quality frame. I think for the price, I, I would find it hard to beat this frame for the price. I really would. I've given it a good bend. It's five millimeter arms. It's tough as nails. Uh, the top plate, good chamfering. Well thought out. I mean, at the end of the day, hole for your your antennas. If you want to use this, I can't knock it. Honestly, 35, 35 quid. This is available. Uh, I will provide a link below to the product, get it for £35 and you know what, you got yourself a proper, proper frame and i got to tell you, it's definitely left me questioning why I cough up so much bucks. Right guys, wishing you a great night, I'm asking you to like, asking you to subscribe because nobody likes and nobody subscribes to the tough business out there. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome FPV session next time you're out.